Hello, I'm Nathan Tudor. I'm here with Wolves reporter, Mr. Joe Edwards. Uh, Joe, uh, Wolves 2, Chelsea 5. I mean, they've been poor recently, but I don't think anyone saw that coming, especially at home. No, uh, just really disappointing day. Mm. And, you know, you're looking at that Everton game and that was disappointing, of course, but you thought, two-week break, yeah. Molyneux's 130th anniversary, mm -hmm. they've done well against the big sides before, yeah. but it just wasn't to be. No. And Everton was bad, but this was worse, really. Mm -hmm. uh, defensive display, just all over the shop. Got a couple of goals to kind of soften the blow, but all in all, yeah, really poured out of the office again. Yeah, worrying signs uh, from front to back, really. They didn't create too much, I didn't think, apart from, you know, apart from the two goals. They weren't really at Chelsea. But at the same time, of course, the defence is the worry. Uh, two changes. We obviously knew that the Bolly was, was enforced due to the due to the red card against Everton. But Sace and Balejo came in um, and, and no Bennett to be seen. No Bennett to be seen because of profiles and... I've, I've, spoke, I've spoke to the club and I reckon it's down to kind of some sort of data that you get and if somebody's in the, the red zone of a profile then they're kind of susceptible to a muscle tear or something like that. So apparently that is maybe the reasoning behind Bennett being dropped but I don't know if it's looking into things a little bit too much but either way, Wolves are worse off uh, for not having him in the side it seems. Seems a strange, uh, yeah, seems a strange one doesn't it? Strange one. And Vallejo was... I mean, he's looked, he's looked a bit shaky at mm -hmm. the start of his Wolves career, um, but you've got to give him the benefit of, of the doubt mm -hmm. before today, mm -hmm. um, because, you know, it's a new mm -hmm. team, new surroundings, a lot different to, to Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, he was he was all over the shop today, and he was probably the worst at a lot of the back. And, uh, well, Cody had a stinker as well. Cody had a stinker as well. well. well, well, well I mean, I've probably, I mean, to be fair, they were probably all as bad as each yeah, other. But, I mean, um, yeah, not not a great day. It at was. All. It wasn't, and, and it, w it was consistent, wasn't it? I mean, the first half an hour, okay, you can say there wasn't a lot really happening. They were trying to work each other out, but then, I mean, Tammy Abram has, has, has had an absolute field day. He has. In he, Atrick and Fuller. Like said about oh, this there yeah. sprinkler coming oh. this way, but we'll, we'll be okay. Oh. Okay, I've got I've got a gilet. It's fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Back. Okay. Okay. Um, Tammy Abraham, yeah, uh, hat trick for him. We, we're getting a bit of a mist, aren't we? Yeah. We're good, we're good. Okay. Um, Tammy Abraham, hat trick mm. and. Got four, to be fair. A four with the own goal. Own goal. Uh, deserved it, mm. completely deserved it. Tall walls apart, yeah. tall with them all afternoon. The third one was, was just such a finish of a striker, full of confidence, mm. just kind of stops the ball dead in its tracks. Yeah. Then turn a pace to beat Cody and then mm. just sticks it right in the bottom mm. corner. It was it was top stuff from him and Wolves just didn't have any answers for, for the questions he posed all afternoon and uh, you know, you're looking at last January, what could have been? I mean, yeah. he, he could have been scoring those goals in a Wolves shirt. The frustrating thing for me is that is that look, you, okay, you, so you take Bolly out of that side, but nine out of that first eleven of, of regular, of, the regulars really have been doing so well. So it wasn't as if they were completely decimated or you know they had four or five major changes. I mean, that that's nine of what you would say is your best eleven, um, including Trio because he's done so well recently. Yeah, you're looking at that front five, you know, that midfield three, and then that front mm. two. That's 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 what you want. Yeah, week, week in week out, but there's, there's not enough. You know, creativity at the moment from midfield. Uh, Neves is just dropping ever so deep. So at the moment. deep. And he's playing almost as another centre half. Mm -hmm. So Wolves have find themselves so deep and they're not closing people down. And yeah. I think Neves has had a big role, big part to play in that mm. because he's just sitting off. Mm. And they're not breaking, they're not, they're not quick on the counter. Mm. They've got to start being further up the pitch, and they've mm. got to support Jota and Jimenez more because they cut frustrated figures. Absolutely. The, the the one positive really coming out the afternoon is that Katrina has mm. got off the mark. Mm. I mean, yeah, I mean, just, I guess the changes would be in defence. However, just, just is Katrina, you'd be surprised if he doesn't get a start sooner rather than later. Probably maybe on Thursday night against Braga. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, I mean, with with Jota and Jimenez, you're looking at the Portuguese connection. Do mm. they want to prove a point? Mm. You know, it, just kind of say. Now these are the, these are the players we've become since leaving mm -hmm. Portugal, kind of thing, maybe. But yeah, Catrano certainly stayed to claim. He looked he looked busy when he came mm. on, and I think that goes a long way. I think at the moment, um, just a lot of players just aren't really covering th those hard yards. No. Um, are they tired? The, the the players saying they aren't. The manager says they aren't. But. Are they tired? Katrano, when he comes on, looks about 10%, 20% mm. more running than, than everyone else. So, 
Yeah, it's something yeah. to same time. look at. You cannot concede five. And that fifth goal, I mean, just epitomised the day, really. It was so easy. Yeah. But the, the, the gap between the midfield and the defence and, and, and the ease that, that, that Mount off thought was excellent throughout, to be yeah, fair. And yeah. it would have been a penalty, I think, if, um, if they pulled it back for Tammy's yeah, goal, yeah, uh, the second goal. Definitely. But at the same time, it was so easy. Turn Vallejo and he's just thinking, goodness me. I mean, it just wasn't the Wolves that we've known, known, to, known to come and love. No, we were just known them for organisation, mm. shape, rigidity, and Nuno spoke about it so many, so many times. And that was the kind of key ingredient in, in getting seventh last year. But mm. it's, it's, it's gone out the window. Yeah. They're all over the place at the moment. And um, we just have the, the, there's an answer for it because mm. you're looking at the squad. Um, they haven't really bulked it out and when players are playing badly there's not really anybody to come in for them so you know it's it's not as if you can drop them and then give them that kind of kick mm. up the backside mm -hmm. they've got to They've got to drag themselves through this rut and um, hopefully we'll so start to see the character of these players. Do you feel that this is now starting to see the signs of maybe the missing out players in you know in the summer transfer window and maybe they are looking a little bit light especially it's easy to say, especially when you're playing Thursday, Sunday, and, and they've lost a few games. But at the same time, they really needed another couple of players, and didn't they? I think they did. I think not like several players, mm. but I think they could have done with two, mm. two more probably, mm. three more. Yeah. Because um, you, you are looking at Neves, who, who hasn't been great. I know yeah. he's kind of, he's kind of been swapped a little bit with kind of size, but then size is in defence because Bolly suspended mm. and. Yeah, there just isn't quite enough bodies there. No. You're looking at the bench at the moment, well, the bench today, mm. and Gibbs White's the only midfield option, which really is an, is an attack minded mm. midfielder. We haven't got a box to box midfielder on the bench, yeah. which is, which is, you shouldn't be, really be in that situation. And um, yeah, there's just not quite enough depth, really. I don't know if they'll look at it in January, mm -hmm. or obviously, he trusts a lot in these players, and the, these players, you know, by and large, have shown the, the quality mm. for Wolves. It's about them showing a bit of character now, digging in and really showing what they're about again. Yeah, and look, they've got they've got another quick turnaround. They've got another Thursday Sunday game uh, with Braga. Of course, you don't want to look ahead to to Palace because it's game by game, and and of course you've got to go and try and get the first three points in the group stages, get them on the board, yeah. get a win. Uh, but I, I want to talk about Sunday and Palace because yeah. they need a win quickly in this Premier League because if you don't win and you know they obviously drew the first three games, it's all well and good, but obviously you know three points, you might as well get a win and two losses. They need to get they need to get off the mark quickly in this Premier League. Yeah, three points from five games. It's it's not what any of us wanted, not what any of us expected. It's been uh, a difficult time. I mean, they've had some some d d difficult teams, but you expect to be better than this. Yeah, I mean, for a team that finished seventh last season, mm -hmm. I don't know our aims. You know, not all of us were aiming quite so high this year. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, a team that finished seventh last season, you should be expecting them to win at least a couple of the first five games. Yeah, I think. and uh, they haven't. They, you know, they've got three points from five. And there are worrying signs, mm. I, and, I, you know, it's 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 obviously you know, Europa League. I've said it before, I say it again. There's obviously very a lot of positives at the moment, mm -hmm. but you can't sugarcoat today's performance. No. It was bad. It was flat out bad, and um, there is a lot to work on. And you know, Braga's the next one, but Palace away. You know, they've just you know had a heavy defeat to uh, Tottenham mm -hmm. today, I believe. Mm -hmm. So. You know, it, they'll be fragile. I'll be interested to see if, if Matt Doherty comes back. You know, if, if well, obviously Bolly will be back. You know, if Ryan Bennett comes back, whether you see some of these and they go back to maybe the, the more tried and tested. Yeah, I, I think so. I think Doherty looked looked good when he came mm. on. That was another you know thing to take away from today. You know, with a smile on your face, that so Doherty came back. Yeah, didn't really show any signs of uh, no, nature. Right, yeah. Natureable. Looked looked fine. So I think I'd get him in from the start next week mm -hmm. and. You know, Bolly's got to definitely come back in, and for me, Benny has got to as well. Can't wait to see your player ratings on uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Wolves 2, Chelsea 5 for all the post match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.